So we have an iPad Pro 12.9 first generation. Super common for this model to have no touch after a screen repair. Today's video, we're gonna walk through how to repair it. This happens from having the battery connected while you're trying to plug in the screen. This filter is very sensitive and it can blow like you can see it there. It turns black. So let's go through how to measure to see if it truly is bad. First thing is put your multimeter into diode mode. And then you put your red probe on ground. So like a shield like this and your black probe. Check one side. It says 0.145 in diode mode. The other side we get 0.156. So notice how it's actually slightly different. 143. 155. So a filter should have the exact same reading across it. And if, it might be off by just one, but this one's off by at least 10. So that's definitely bad. Uh, also another common filter to fail is this one right here that will cause no touch. So on this side we get 302. On the left side we get 302. So this is good. See how the reading is exactly the same? Whereas this one is slightly off. 143, 155. So it's bad, let's go ahead and replace it. So the thing you wanna do first is add some flux to the components. And now in this case, since this is a small filter, there's no connection to ground, it's super easy to remove it just with your iron. So I'm using a micro pencil here, and essentially just tinning both sides. And just with my iron, I was able to just pick it up and get it off the board. Now I do want to prep these pads for the new filter. So add more flux. Tin the pads. So I have a little, they're kind of little tiny uh, solder mountains there, but that's fine. Let me clean this up so you guys can see. Some alcohol and a little cotton swab. So I will link all this in the video description as well as how to contact me if you need this repair. We do offer mail-in repairs so no matter where in the country you are in, of the United States I can repair this for you if, if you ship me your device whether it's this iPad or any other repair you see me uh, perform here on the channel. Alright so now we're gonna put the replacement filters these are technically iPhone 6S backlight filters. They also work for this iPad uh, no touch issue. They're really small and easy to lose like I think I just did. Oh no, it's right here. So here's the replacement filter. Now you could technically do this with your iron as well like I did it. But let's do hot air. It's kind of the more straightforward way. It can be a little tricky when you're doing with your iron. So just kind of hold it. You let the flux kind of keep the component on the board. Since flux is a little sticky, it'll kind of grab the component. I have my hot air at 400 Celsius and 80 air. And you can see now the filter is now replaced. By the way, while doing all this, make sure the battery is disconnected. All right, the filter is now replaced. I'm cleaning with alcohol. Now I'm blowing it away with my little hand pump here. And look at that, brand new filter. So let's let the iPad cool down a little bit because on an iPad, our motherboard is hot, the diode mode readings are slightly lowered due to the temperature, but let's give it a few minutes to cool down and then we'll come back and check the device. All right, so the board is cool, so let's measure. On the right side, we get 140. On the left side, we get 141, 140. So yeah, this is now good. Also, you may be wondering, you saw these. Uh, these also kind of burn up whenever there's touch issues. Uh, but they never fail from my experience. So if you measure these, you will see the exact same reading, 278, 278, uh, 280, 282. So basically same reading. Um, you know, the one that caused no touch is this one and 
this one over here and it looks like we're good. So let's go ahead and test this out. All right, so what you wanna do when plugging in the screen is have the battery disconnected. I have a guitar pick off to the side of the connector. I never go under the connector cause that's how you could damage the battery pins. Also, this is my known good tester screen. Although it's cracked, it is a known good and working. So the tricky part is plugging in these flexes just because of the way this is all designed. The cables are in an awkward position. So you guys can't really see what I'm doing here, but the goal is to plug in the two cables. And it's really difficult. All right, so I have it plugged in. Now this is uh, the moment of truth. I push down on the battery connector. I don't see any smoke. So that's good. That means the screen is good. I'm gonna screw in the battery and then I am going to plug it in to charge to turn it on so we can test it. Look at that, it's turning on. So that's good. That's a good sign. It means we didn't screw anything up in the process. Now we wait for it to boot up to the lock screen. All right, there we have it. So does it work? Look at that, we have touch. Then also what you can do is swipe the notification across the screen and you can see it is, touch is working. So there you have it. iPad is now fixed. It has touch working. So the goal here now is to install the customer's known good working screen and test it again and make sure it all works. But in this case, it's fixed. So there we have it. The iPad is fixed. We got touch working. We only had to replace the filter that we measured as bad. Remember when you use diode mode and you're trying to find a bad filter, if you measure across both sides, you should have the exact same reading on one side to the other because the filter is just a straight pass through uh, component. If you do have a variance where one is off by, you know, even up to like 10, you know, 10 points, then maybe that filter is bad. So hopefully you guys found this video helpful. I will link to the replacement filters down below. They come in 10 packs. It's like a dollar or something. So it's super cheap. Definitely recommend you check those out. I will also link to my t-shirts as well. So if you do phone repairs, definitely pick one up and help out the channel. And all the tools that I use in today's video will also be linked down below. So thanks a lot for watching. Make sure you smash the like button if you found this helpful. Subscribe to the channel to get more solutions like this and share this video with all your friends. And I'll see you guys in the next one.